Howdy all you buckaroos, it's time to learn how God loves you. So come on now, get out of your pew. Eric's got a great children's message for you. Boy, howdy. So we're learning a little bit about storms today. And so what sound does a storm make? Uh, yeah. Kaboom. Kaboom, okay. And yeah, what else might be a storm? Make some storm sounds for me. Oh, very good. Oh, it's getting scary. Then maybe we do this. Sound more, more. Okay, that's pretty good. But it might sound better uh, if they did it. But we'll have them ask in a moment. But okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make the sound of the storm up here. They're going to help us out. And there was a storm that happened in today's Bible story. And where were the disciples when the storm was going on? Yeah, in a boat. Would that be like the scariest place for there to be a storm, you think? Yeah, what do they think might happen? Yeah. It's not something, when, when you're in your house and it's really rainy outside, do you think you might drown? No. no, never had that thought. Even living in the Pacific Northwest has not been a thought. But if I was in a boat, maybe a different story. So they're freaking out, right? And uh, what does Jesus do at this time? He's sleeping. And so what do disciples do? They wake him up. And then what does he do? Yeah, huh? yeah Lena. He says something. What does he say? So we know. Yeah. Yes, he says peace. He says two more words. Yeah. Close. The, the third word was B. Uh, oh, sorry, the second word was B. Peace, B. And then the third one is sort of like calm, still. That's right. Yeah, we got it all figured out. Oh, yeah, it took three of us. We figured it out. Peace, be still is what we said. So how many, who, who would like to be Jesus and say peace, be still in calm storm? Lena, I saw your hands first. So you got to be really loud. So come on over here. Yeah. Stand up. Are you going to face that direction? Okay. So the storm starts pretty quiet, right? Uh, and so you're going to hold that. But don't say it yet. I, I will point to you when it's your time to say peace be still because I want a big storm before. So you can just you know, take a nap right now. That'd be fine. Okay. So, uh, so I want you to, like, we're going to make some waves. So we're going to start with like, like, like a small wave. So we're going to, and you can make a little sound of wind. Okay. So, and then the wave's going to start with our shoulders and it's going to start over there and it's going to work its way across the sea all the way over to here. So just with your shoulders. So yeah. Mm, mm. There you go. There you go. And and a little a little wind. A little wind. Okay, we need the sound. There you go. Make the sound of the wind, please. And then the wave is coming back the other direction. It's going this way. It's going this way. It's going this way. Going across, across. Okay, now, oh, it's going through our arms. So it starts over here. It's going this way. Oh, it's getting worse. There's some rain. There's some rain. Okay, now it's going all the way up, just like you're like you're at like you're at a Huskies game or a Beavers game or something. You go like that. There you go, like this, there you go. Shh. It's going around, it's going around, right, right, right. Say it, say it, say it, Peace say it. be still. How much, how much power do you have, Lena? Well, that's right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's well done, guys. It was something like that, and all of a sudden, what do the disciples think? Who is this guy? That's right. Hard to believe. He can control the storm. Uh, and so if Jesus can control the storm, does that give you peace and rest too? Yeah. And so that whole time, why do you think Jesus was able to sleep through it? Yeah. Yeah, can you just be like, mm, and back to, I would like for him to go back to sleep. I don't know if he does, but I'd like for that to be what happens next in this story. And so uh, it's amazing to think about how much God could calm everything at once. And there's moments where God calms me all at once, where I'm just all tense, and I'll say a prayer, and all of a sudden things just seem, they're not necessarily taken care of, but I am at peace, and I am still. Uh, and God has the power to do that for us. And so this week is Scuba VBS, and we'll be looking at, at this story. Before we get to that, what is, what is Scuba? It actually is an acronym. Each letter means something. Yeah. Like yeah, it does mean underwater. Yeah. Uh-huh. Scuba diving. Yeah, so you're scuba diving. I'm sorry, I should start there. Yeah. So you're scuba diving, so you're, what, what's different when you have a scuba tank? What can you do? Go deeper for longer, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that. I'm sorry. Yeah, but what else does scuba do? So you, can, you can breathe underwater, right? So that's part of what the... So the U and the B stands for underwater breathing apparatus. Yeah, very good. And then it's the first two letters are self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. So it means that you can stay underwater for a period of time, like an hour or something like that, with an oxygen tank, uh, and you can go see stuff you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. 
And so this week we're going to be seeing God at Vacation Bible School. Uh, but here's the other thing. So if you'd had a scuba tank and you were one of the disciples and you're on the, the boat and the storm's going like that, you got a scuba tank, you jump out of the water while the storm's going, you go down 20 feet. What's the storm like 20 feet below the waves? It's just, it's a lot of current, but it wouldn't be very easy to move around. But could it be. be. It would be a lot more peaceful. It'd be, yeah, I think it would be still because I think it could go below the storm. And all of a sudden, it'd be super quiet. We wouldn't hear all of that for sure. That much I do know. It would be quiet. It might have to move around from place to place, but it would be way calmer than up top. Uh, yes, Anna? Okay, very good. Uh, but so we want to go deep this week with God, deep into friendship with him and his word. And it also encourages us to go deep in our friendship. So it'd be cool if you guys brought your friends here. And I know some of you already have friends here already. Uh, and so uh, they could also become better friends with God, as you do too. And God can give you the peace that passes all understanding, that peace that, that Lena felt when all of a sudden everything was calm and under control. Uh, and we're thankful uh, that we get to go to Jesus. He will take away your fears, help you rest, and he did that, uh, and God did that for us by sending Jesus to die and rise for us so that we might be a part of his life forever. We'd be friends with God and with Jesus forever. So why don't we learn more about this week, and why don't we pray about that right now? So repeat after me. Dear God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank, you for being with us thank you for being with us in our storms, in our storms. For, giving us peace to be still. for giving us peace to be still. Give us a great week at DBS. Give us a great week at DBS. May, we dive deep May we dive deep into friendship with you. And as he will said, Amen. Amen. Thanks for coming forward, guys. Get to your seats. Ba, ba, ba!